All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about five-ish things that I don't like about the Genesis. The title of the video is gonna be five things I hate or something along those lines, but don't misunderstand it. That does not mean that I hate this car. These are just some things that I hate about it. So to make that clear, I love this car. It's great, I've had a lot of fun in it, but there are some things in every car, I feel like, that could use some, what's the word for it? I don't know, honestly. That could be made better, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna point out those things that I think Hyundai could have done a better job at to make this car just that much better. But as it is, pretty great car. First of all, if you're new to the channel, I'll go ahead and go over some of the things that I've done to it. Obviously, I have wheels, tires, and suspension on it. That's boring stuff. I'm not really gonna go in depth with everything, but I'll just show you some of the stuff that's done to it. It is very dirty right now, so please ignore that. But this is a 3.8 liter V6 with a TurboKits.com Precision 6266 ball bearing turbo. It is legit, it's a pre precision turbo. A lot of people think it's an eBay turbo, I don't know why. But yeah, so got the turbo kit on it, it makes 403 wheel horsepower at six PSI. And that was on the dyno, we couldn't get it to go past six PSI. So on the street, it goes up to about eight. So we're, we're thinking maybe like four, 430 to the wheels. Also have the engine leash from 3.8 Performance. That's dope, check that out, definitely worth it. Also, check out the decals I got on here. Got the Hyundai, the Turbo, Gap Insurance. Also have the Hyundai on the front intercooler. Pretty cool, it's kind of my thing. I don't know of anybody else that has that, if they do. I did that video like two years ago. So speaking of merch and stuff, I just got in some new Send It lanyards. I'll have a picture on the screen right now so you guys can check them out. Um, if you guys want to pre-order them, they're ac I don't actually don't have them right now. But if you want to pre-order them, I'm having them. I have them on sale on the website. If you want to snag one, I only got a hundred of them. So if you want one, you need to get it quick before they sell out. Also got a few other things too if you're interested. But other than that, let's go ahead and start with number one. Now this is not in order. I'm not limiting it to five things only and I'm not putting it in any order so these are just things that annoy me about this car pretty much. Number one, listen to the sound that the door makes whenever you shut it. I don't know if you can hear that but mainly at the top, listen to the top. Like when, the, when it shuts the glass like slaps and makes this weird funky noise and it, it sounds really cheap and I, I don't like it. So that's one of my main things is that the doors feel like a tin can. And I know a lot of people are gonna say it's a Hyundai, so you, what do you expect? But you know, I expect something better than that, obviously. Next thing I will be talking about is the front end of the car, just in general. Now with a little bit of work, you can make the newer front end look a little bit more aggressive, but I think, you know, as it is stock, mine doesn't look too bad because it's got a big intercooler on it. And, I blacked out the chrome and stuff, but it's still not perfect by any means. I got a front lip and all that. But a stock Genesis Coupe front end on the 2013 and newer just looks like a Hyundai Elantra, like every other Hyundai on the road. It's got that same weird shaped grill on it, and I just don't like it. I would have liked to have seen them make something a little bit more, a little bit more unique for this car because I think it is a unique car for Hyundai for sure. It's like their first rear wheel drive sports coupe so i think making it look like every other hyundai probably wasn't a good idea for them but the back of the car is really good it's really dirty so it looks kind of like brown over here because the sun's hitting it but yeah it's been rainy a lot lately this is like the first decent day we've had out here it's about 40 degrees outside still pretty cold but it's better than 20 so yeah moving on and this one's going to be personal preference i know some people will like this but me personally, I do not. The uh, I got a bunch of junk in the back seat. It's Rachel's stuff. I do not like the red seats. I just don't. I don't know why. If anybody wants to trade me the black leather R-Spec seats, um, I'm I'm down. Straight up. Take them. I do not like them. I just think they look dumb. Might as well just stay inside the car. So my next thing, and a lot of you probably know this already, why is it so dark? A lot of you guys already know this already, but the transmission in this car is absolutely 
garbage. Hyundai, as far as I know, they don't make a whole lot of rear wheel drive cars, so I don't blame them for making a really awful transmission for this car. But with that being said, it is fucking awful. And if you guys have seen any of my videos where I'm trying to drag race the car or just race in general, you go from first gear, try to go to second gear, and it just like, the car will not let you go in gear. I don't know how to explain it, and a lot of people think it's me, but it's definitely not me. A lot of people have the same issue. But basically, you go from there, and it's like, instead of, see, it's in second gear now. I have a short shifter. It's really short, and you can't really tell. But instead of going into second gear like that, it will put you, like, right on the edge of it to where you're not in second gear, but it feels like it clicked in, but you're not. So what you end up doing is going from first to second, you can feel it, like, getting blocked. Like, it won't go all the way in, and then... By the time you've slowed down and you're already gapped by somebody's Honda Accord, you finally get it in second gear and can continue accelerating. It's really fucking annoying. I don't know what it is with the transmission that makes it do that. Even, even with all the stuff that I have done to try to help with that, it still does it from time to time and it's still not perfect. So if you have that problem and you want to help, reduce that, I would get the engine leash from 3.8 Performance. I'll have a link in the description for that. Also, check out 3.8 Performance anyways. They make 2-liter turbo stuff. And Dustin, I know him. He's a pretty cool guy, so help him out. I would get the Megan Racing transmission mount, the engine leash. If you want to try out uh, different transmission fluids, you can do that. I use Redline MT90 in this car. It did a little bit. Didn't help a whole lot, but you can try it out. It's worth a shot. It's a big problem with this car. Okay, and I think that was four things, but to be honest with you, I can't really think of any other thing. And if I could, I would probably say it would be the fact that it's a Hyundai. I, it's not that I hate that it's a Hyundai. It's just I hate that car guys in general think that all Hyundais are junk, which in a lot of cases is true. But this car is the one car that I will defend Hyundai on and say that this is a great car. I think Hyundai did a really good job on this, making a cheap and fun real wheel drive car i think they i think they did a great job a lot of people think these cars are junk and they blow up like really easily but just to put this in perspective i've had this car with a bone stock 3.8 v6 engine with a turbo kit for right around probably two years altogether. i took it off at one point and ran it in a for a while because i was going to sell it but probably combined i've probably had it on there for two years and it's held up the entire time no issues still running strong and that just goes to show you that even though some people blow their cars up every weekend that doesn't mean every genesis coupe out there blows up all the time so it just goes down to how you treat your cars is how well they're going to treat you so if you go out and beat the piss out of your car every time you drive it bouncing it off red line and you install a white box on it and start shooting flames yeah you're going to fucking blow it up dumbass i've seen i don't know how many people I've seen I don't know how many videos of Genesis Coupes at car meets just revving the absolute nuts off of it for two minutes and then they wonder why it blows up. It's not it's not the fact that it's a Hyundai, it's the fact that the owner's a fucking retard. I don't know, it just annoys me. But anyways, this was a little bit of a different video. So if you liked it, leave a like on it. And if you want, I'll do one on the Evo too. Show you all the things that I don't like about it. If you guys want to check out the website, pre-order some of the new merch that's coming out. I have it on the screen so you can check it out. Or just go over there and, and see what I got. Just because. I appreciate it. I have some big things coming up. Some really big things. And it's going to be dope. So I'll see you guys later. Hold Peace. Up.